Hi, I'm Chris Misick, winemaker for Belangelo, and right now we're in the lab here in the cellar at Belangelo. And even though we take a very, I'd like to say hands-off approach in that we don't work with tons of extra additives and uh, manipulate the wines too much, I do like to make sure that we're gathering as many data points as possible. Now this starts all the way with obviously the vines in the vineyard, working with growers, doing petiole analysis. It really begins when we're looking at a uh, winery perspective. When we start gathering all the data on berries, whether it be residual sugar, tartritable acidity, pH, and even things like yam, yeast assimilable nitrogen. Uh, what I've wanted to do is make sure that here at the winery we have as many data points as possible so that in the future making decisions is a little easier. We'll be able to find corollaries, we'll know what worked well, and we'll build an even brighter future for the winery. Uh, one of the tools that I've turned to uh, to help this happen is the Wine Lab Analyzer. And what this does is helps, uh, really helps me go through tests in a much faster uh, rate than standard testing. For example, testing free SO2 in wines, sulfur dioxide. Uh, oftentimes that's a test that can take 10, 15 minutes. With the Wine Lab Analyzer, I'm able to go through and do a test that would take that long uh, in minutes. And it's even more important when we want to scale that up. So I can get through 15 free SO2 tests in 15 minutes. Uh, so what I wanted to do is show you kind of how it works. We're going to take an example of something like TA. We're going to test TA real quick. I'm going to show you just how fast it works. So doing that TA test was pretty simple. Uh, doing that test via titration takes about 10 minutes per wine. You see we can move through 15 TAs in a very short order. What I like about this system is it makes sure that there is never a test that you decide not to do because you don't have the time. Things like malolactic fermentation, which can take 24 hours and it's still kind of guesswork using chromatography paper to see where that ML has taken place we can get done in about 10 minutes. And we have exact uh, parts per million of malic acid and lactic acid left in the wine. Things like yan, yeast assimilable nitrogen. This allows us to see what the true nature of the juice is, both the organic and, nit and inorganic nitrogen in the juice prior to fermentation. Not all of our wines are inoculated. Um, some of them are, and specifically when we inoculate with certain yeast strains, some of those strains have higher nitrogen demands. Using the data that we collect and knowing that, that demand on nitrogen that that yeast has allows us to adjust the nutritional levels of nitrogen in that base juice so that it's a happy fermentation. All of these things are just one more step that I think we're taking here at Belangelo to help elevate what we're doing in the Finger Lakes to make truly fine, authentic, and most of all, delicious Finger Lakes wines.